Hello lovely ladies, in this video I'm going to take you through my predictions for AQA Physics Paper 1. Now this will be your starting list of where to revise and then if you want more help after this in the playlist is predictions for all of your science and all of your maths exams along with the walkthroughs of the predicted papers. Now the walkthroughs are really really important for physics where I'm going to show you how to answer the questions and this is specifically important for the mathy question because we know 30% of your grade in physics, because the exam all told us this, come from maths in physics questions and if you're doing the higher tier paper that 30% even if you've just answered those questions that is enough to pass. Now I did analysis of last year's papers and it's actually closer to 50%. It probably depends on what you actually count as a maths question. Um, so in the predicted papers I take you through how to answer the questions. So what sort of things you should be doing to really, really make sure you get those marks on that paper. I don't know, Easter I'm doing a live which will be available to members of this channel probably the next day or the same day. So there is so much maths in physics that is enough to really, really push your grade. And I know it's people scared of it, please don't be scared of it. It is such a big chunk and once you get used to it, it's actually really, really easy to do. So um, I guess that's my first prediction. Um, please learn the method for doing the maths and physics questions. Now, this will be your starting list, but please revise absolutely everything because I'm not affiliated with an exam board. I've not seen this year's paper. I do not 100% know what is going to come up. But if you wanted somewhere to start, then I would start with electricity and how it was generated. All the different ways it's generated, the advantages and the disadvantages. And then linking that through to domestic electricity and then safety in the home as well. So atomic structure is a big topic and this is a common topic with chemistry. So it's definitely one that is worth learning well because it might come up on one paper, physics or chemistry, it might come up on both papers. So atomic structure, isotopes, radioactivity, the development of the model of the atom. All of this is kind of like big things that didn't come up last year. Energy... Energy is a big topic, obviously, but I'd specifically like you to look at stores and pathways and then the transitions in between those because not only could they come up with short answer questions, but they could easily come up as like a big six mark question where you have to describe the energy changes when this happens. So it's please definitely something I'd like to spend some time on. One of the practicals that I fancy for this year is the resistance practicals, the resistance of a word. Now, Obviously, you should revise all the practicals. Um, and when you're revising the practicals, I'd like you to look at what different things we could change, any sources of errors. Um, so when I change, like what can you change about control variable, what can you change about the independent variable, um, how we can measure things, um, anywhere we can make it more accurate, um, how we can draw the tables and what the graph should look like. And one of the graphs, set of graphs I would like you to learn are the current potential different graphs and the reasons behind those shapes of graphs. So that is your starting list for um, physics paper one. So go and jot all those down, go and have a look at their predicted paper walkthrough um, and then come join me for some of the maths and physics skills lessons. Now, if you're doing separate science, there is also the video walkthrough of the predictive paper for separate science as well, and some really, really hard live sessions that I've done for you as well. So this will be your list, your starting list for revision. So electricity and how it is generated. Now, the advantages, disadvantages, various different ways that this could happen. Um, but then linking it through, taking it back through to the home, so power stations, metal grid, how to get into the home. Then once it's in the home, how can we make sure it's actually safe. Atomic structure and isotopes is a big topic and there's a link there with chemistry as well. So it's definitely something that's worth spending time getting correct because it could come up in one, two, no, it can't come up in one or two papers, but it could come up in one or two papers for you. So not only the current structure or model of the atom, but how we developed that model as well. Now the practical I like for this year is the resistance practical. Please learn all the practicals, obviously, and when you are looking at these practicals, um, when you're looking at the resistance practical, think about what sort of things could I change, what could I change about what I'm investigating, what could I change about what I'm measuring, um, what are the different things that could go wrong in this practical, what tables, what graphs, what things am I measuring, what calculations do I need to do for this practical. Now this is one that involves circuits, so please go and learn all of your circuits 
these symbols. Get those on a flashcard if you haven't done so already. Energy stores and energy pathways, including like the changes between them, how you can go from one to the other. This could easily be a really nice six mark question. So um, how can we get the, the describe the energy changes that happen in this situation? And it might be one that you've not come across before. I would really like you to learn your current potential difference graphs and the reason behind the shape of those graphs. Obviously you're thinking include the circuit, the circuit symbols, and any actually drawing circuits that it could be in. So pressure and gas movement, including calculations for this, and then nuclear energy, radioactivity, and nuclear power. And this links into lots of other things that I've said previously. Um, so we know math is gonna be a big part of the paper, 30%. Um, if you want some extra help with that, not only am I doing lives, but those sessions will be available to members of the channel soon afterwards. You can go and watch the predicted paper. You can go and watch my predictions for math, chemistry, biology. Um, I'm doing so much to help you guys. We're gonna be here together. We can do this. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like explain scratches.